Hi, I just wanted to talk about a cool HTML5 feature, which is speech-to-text input. And so I here, here I am on a page of a search engine, and I'm just going to inspect uh, this input here. And there's basically just a couple things you need to add to an input to make it into um, to make it accept speech input. Uh, so add x WebKit speech, and that's just uh, a true or false um, attribute, so you can just add that without any value added in there. And then also, people seem to be adding X WebKit grammar um, with a value of built-in colon search. I'm not sure what that means, really, honestly. Uh, I think it's that WebKit has some kind of built-in grammar parsing library uh, that probably helps it interpret the, the speech input. And then finally, there's on WebKit speech change, uh, speech change, which accepts a script that you could fire. Um, so, for instance, you could have this um, search engine automatically submit the form and do a search as soon as the the speech change was just detected. I'm actually not going to add anything with that. Um, it's probably a bad idea to to force people to accept their speech input because the the translation might get mangled or something so give people a chance to actually correct it and you can see when I added those two elements this little uh, microphone popped up and so all you have to do is click that web design and then it detects when I'm done speaking and fills in my terms so pretty cool and could be a really great um, accessibility feature for a lot of websites. Uh, I have a few resources I pulled up here. This is the first um, API specification I could find written by a couple guys at Google. Uh, I don't know how much this influenced the actual outcome, but there was this HTML speech incubator group too um, for the W3C and they had a uh, they recently released like a final report and then there's this unofficial draft of an, another JavaScript API. And let's see, where was it? Yeah, it has an interesting example here where you can see what's going on, basically. Uh, it creates a new speech recognition object and then calls an onResult uh, method, which fires off this script here. And you can see that what the script does is just basically fill in the transcript of that speech recognition event um, into the into the input which has that IDQ and then it submits the form. Um, so that's an interesting simple example and this is uh, unofficial draft obviously a couple of the authors are the same guys who wrote the original one um, that came out pretty soon so that seems like something that's gonna be showing up in browsers before too long and uh, right now only works in WebKit, only in Chrome, I believe.